Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is February 11th, and today we're going to talk about the Pacific Northwest weather, including the system coming up here Sunday night into Monday, possible convergent zone for the Puget Sound. We'll take a look at the rest of the country very briefly here, and we'll take a look at this thermal trough building up the coastline and bringing some warm weather all the way up to the Puget Sound area and even southern BC on in through Sunday. And then we cool down as we go on into next week. Then we'll take a look at the extended forecast as well. And what kind of precipitation amounts we can expect some of the lowland areas when this system moves through on Monday. Take a look at the visible satellite now. Look at this interesting feature going on here. Look at this streaming of clouds here. This is a reverse convergent zone. It's a stratus layer that's been the winds are wrapping around the Olympic Mountains there and meeting on the westward side of the Olympics there. And you can even see a little eddy in there if you look closely in the the stratus layer as these winds wrap around and converge on the western side of the Olympic Mountains there. And you can see the lower clouds and stratus layer through the Puget Sound. That should break up pretty well today. I think that most areas will see a lot of sunshine. If you look at eastern Washington there, you can see the snow on the higher terrain and there is not much fog there for the lowlands. So get out and enjoy it. There's just some high clouds going over the top right now. You can see um, Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens on the satellite there and check out the Willamette Valley. Pretty socked in right now. You can see that stratus layer and the fog extends all the way into the uh, Cascade Valleys there. And you can see it started to be eaten away there by some of the offshore wind action. So some places are going to break out in the Willamette Valley this afternoon. Looking at the rest of the west, you can see all the nice snow-capped mountains and you see the system kind of sliding down through here into the Dakotas as they're getting some blizzard warnings out here. But yeah, I think that was an interesting feature there, this reverse stratus convergence zone there on the west side of the Olympics as we get offshore winds that are creating that now. So, so taking a look at the wind here across the Pacific Northwest, you can see why we have that reverse convergence zone going on here as we get this offshore wind with some northeast component moving through the Strait of Juan de Fuca and kind of through the Chehalis Gap. It's kind of meeting out there on the west side of the Olympics. And if we put this into motion, you'll kind of notice that these winds start to pick up across the Cascades and through the gorge there, just east of Portland with those offshore winds. And then you can see these winds out here also, uh, Montana, as they trail down through that system that move through the northern states there. And you can see these offshore winds continue on in through Saturday. And then Saturday evening, they start to die down into Sunday morning as the approach of this next system starts to come on shore here and we'll take a look at that in some detail here coming up but looking around the rest of the country here we've got some blizzard warnings out there for minnesota north dakota and there's some high wind watches out there for nebraska and some winter weather advisories on the east slopes of the rockies there and of course the heat advisory for southern california they're going to get a few more warm days down there as this thermal trough is all the way up through portland on saturday which we'll look at here in a minute. Here's the blizzard conditions out there, potentially for Minnesota and North Dakota. So if you have any con uh, concerns out there, heads up if you're traveling through that region. And here is Cheyenne, Wyoming, and Nebraska, their high wind watch. You can see up to 50 miles per hour. So a little bit of interesting weather around the rest of the country. Back to the Pacific Northwest here, you can see the patchy fog through the Willamette Valley and the Puget Sound, actually more than patchy through the Willamette Valley right now. But if we put this into motion to this afternoon, it looks like a lot of this is going to break up and we should have a pretty nice day today, including eastern Washington and Oregon. There is some fog down through the valleys there of Idaho. It might be a little bit tougher to break out this afternoon. And if we put this into Sunday morning, let's see how much fog redevelops. You can see some of the north sound here and some of the valleys in eastern Washington, and Oregon, a little bit through the Willamette Valley on into Sunday morning. As the next system approaches, it should break a lot of that up, especially for western portions of the state going into Monday morning. Taking a look at the temperatures here now, this is at 925 millibars, about 2,500 feet. You can really see this warm air that's moved all the way up the Oregon coast. That's the mark, the mark of the thermal trough there. And as we go into Saturday, you'll notice that thermal trough and these offshore winds are all the way up almost to Astoria here on Saturday morning. And as we go on to Sunday morning here, you can see that trough start to weaken here as the next system advances towards us. 
and we'll go into that in detail in a bit here but let's check out the temperatures we can expect around the region here so here goes the warm-up today you can see all the way up towards 60 degrees for portland brookings oregon expected towards 80 degrees again today i heard there were some areas in the 80s yesterday down there but check out the oregon coast nice and warm should be clear what a day out there willamette valley if you do break out you should warm up pretty nicely and as we go into saturday check out that heat come back north again we get 55 through Seattle. Maybe we'll get up towards 60 degrees on Saturday for some areas in western Washington and the Oregon coast. Another warm day here. And as we go on into Sunday, look at Seattle, 57. So we're probably going to be up around 60 degrees for a lot of areas of western Washington. Warm up all the way through the valleys there. And check out some of the, like Medford. Look, I think that's Medford there, 73 degrees on Sunday. Some really warm conditions coming for western Washington and Oregon on Sunday before the pattern changes. So let's look at this pattern now. So we've got that ridge that's given us our thermal trough and our warm conditions along much of the west coast. And you can see the next system come through here on Monday. And as it swings down through there, it's likely to bring a, a Puget Sound convergence zone. And this system's been trending west a little bit more, which is gonna bring some unstable air into Western Oregon as well as cool down Southern California. As you can see there, it moves a direct hit all the way down to Southern California. So we'll be watching that in the next couple of days and see what kind of impacts we can expect from that. Possibly a thunderstorm or two anywhere in the west, along the west coast, actually. And we'll get some mountain snow out of this, too, and we will cool down the region pretty well. As that ridge kind of builds right back in there for a few days into next week. Now, looking here, this is the temperature. Let's, let's update this first before we go ahead and dive into this here is 850 millibar temperatures you can see that thermal trough all the way up through the central oregon coast moving up towards astoria even and as we put this into motion here notice sunday that starts to weaken it starts to shrink back down to the south as we get into monday morning here you can see this really chilly air at 5,000 feet move over the area this is not going to be any threat for lowland snow in any unusual locations or anything like that but it is going to bring some mountain snow through the areas and you can see these Cold temperatures move all the way down through Southern California, across the mountainous west on into Wednesday as the ridge then redevelops offshore here. So, but there are some signs in the extended that this is going to change. We're, we are going to get a pattern change. We're going to weaken this ridge in the extended, but still, it looks like we're going to have to do with another redevelopment of the ridge going on into next week. But here's the system moving through. You can see some pretty good mountain snows coming through Washington and Oregon. British Columbia here through the morning on Monday in a Puget Sound Convergence Zone signature starts showing up here. Could get a thunderstorm in any uh, western locations here, including the mountains and maybe even in the Convergence Zone here, as you can see in the afternoon. Pretty strong signal there with probably a good bullseye of snow wherever that zone does set up. Some snow even for the coastal ranges here and on into the Rockies, eastern Washington, eastern Oregon. And check out that on monday afternoon looks like a pretty good shot of snow for the cascades of oregon coming up here as this system sags south you can see it's bringing some pretty good snows down through northern nevada all the way down to the sierra nevadas and it looks like this runs backed off the snow for southern california mountains down there but we'll see how that progresses here in the next few days as the ridge builds after that so let's take a look at the winds as far as the puget sound convergence zone here so this is showing the offshore winds today and tonight a pretty good flow going through the gorge here tonight of these offshore winds are really roaring here and you can see this surface reflection of that ridge here this anti-cyclone off the coast and then you can see the next system as it starts to move in here and let's refresh that we're going to get some more data in here so we were at hour at 57. You can see the next system moving in here. And this starts to plow towards our area. And you can see we've got the southerlies through the sound here. Here comes the system. This is Monday morning. And you start to see these winds start to turn westerly and northwest behind this frontal system. And then you can see the Puget Sound Convergence on signature here and the winds wrapping around the Olympics converging over Seattle. And you can see some pretty good upper level winds moving into western oregon it's going to bring some cold air aloft so there is a potential for a thunderstorm or two in western oregon as well with this and then you'll notice these winds shift out of the north on monday afternoon so this is going to be a pretty progressive uh, convergence zone moving down the sound so that might be a pretty interesting feature we're going to pay some attention to that here in the next few days as well 
as we put this into motion and you can see the ridge start to build offshore again into next week just the never ending ridge but let's check out snowfall totals we can expect let's update this too and get the new data in here the european kuchera total snowfall here and as we move into monday morning you can see the snow starting to pile up in the cascades and the olympics there and a pretty good shot of snow for the oregon cascades this is much needed for them down there the drought is extreme in some areas of the eastern um, slopes of the cascades there and some good snows going through the mountains of idaho and even all the way down through nevada there maybe some places like tonopah nevada might even pick up a little bit of snow down to the surface down there with this chilly air moving over the top of them and the sierra nevada gets some good snowfall here too so we'll take what we can get at this point we've been so precipitation deprived that we need any snow that we can get for the mountains i mean this is not a lot you could get some of the higher peaks might get up towards a foot for washington a little bit higher for oregon it looks like but it's something at least and check out the precipitation values for the SeaTac. as you can see this is just not a big rainmaker. you know a couple tenths of an inch of rain it'll cool us down and You'll notice the pattern change and then the potential for that convergence zone moving through the Puget Sound there. But you can see the precipitation totals. None of the ensembles have them very impressive. Just a, a standard rainy day there on Monday into Monday afternoon. And check out Yakima, rain shadowed area over there. Very, you know, maybe a trace of precipitation is going to fall over there. Quileute on the coast, similar to Seattle. This is just not a very dynamic system as far as its moisture content and the precipitation amounts it's going to bring. Should be a little bit better for the mountains as they wring out some of that moisture. But Portland, you can see, actually does a little bit better than Seattle. Seattle might be a little bit blocked by the Olympic Mountains, but anywhere that convergence zone sets up might get a little more rain than what was forecast. But you can see Portland just a little bit over a couple tenths of an inch of rain. So here's Brookings, Oregon. You might get some rainfall here too. Uh, this is on into Monday afternoon. You'll get a couple tenths and you'll cool down quite a bit here from these really warm days you've been getting potentially 80 degrees in brookings oregon brookings oregon today brookings oregon sorry and here's pendleton too a little bit should make it over the mountains there and so yeah that's what's going on and we'll take a look tomorrow at the extended forecast it looks like we're going to go to more of a zonal flow later in february and the last night's european run actually had a few systems that were had a few windy systems moving through the area in fact let's go ahead and just look at that right now since we're since we're here just to give an idea of what's coming up here we'll just look at upper air heights at 500 millibars and let's do last night's run since it goes out to 360 hours but here's the ridge dominating our weather giving us a nice warm weather here and here goes the system on sunday night into morning comes all the way down the west coast big cool off and the ridge redevelops looks like that starts to break down again on thursday as a weak system starts to move through and then we get troughing out of the gulf of alaska and this is more of a windy rainy pattern for the pacific northwest so you know might we might be able to build up some mountain snow here in later february to help us out with those drought conditions going on in the spring and summer even though these ridges are just never far away from forming it looks much weakened and extended versus what it's been for the last few weeks so We've got that going for us so we'll look at that system a little bit more in detail tomorrow and start to pinpoint some um, potential for lightning or maybe even some small hail with some of these showers that move through the pacific northwest on monday especially into monday afternoon maybe a lightning strike or two so i will talk about that a little bit tomorrow and thanks for watching you guys thanks